The Thomas Wooden Railway brand is a brand that represents the TV show and the fan base quite well, with memorably charming design and a craft that has gone on to arise creativity in a lot of people who love these beautiful toy locomotives. This led to the TWR community, one that has gone on to become almost as large as the Thomas fandom itself. However, members of that community well remember when things started to change. The models that many had come to admire suddenly were changed by the new ownership of Mattel. Thomas Wooden Railway became Thomas Wood, a cheap, unappealing, and insulting afterthought to the brand of merchandise that came before. The community was shaken up, and a lot of people were profoundly disappointed in what the franchise had become. However, even in the darkest moments, there always seems to be a silver lining for our fandom. You just have to look a little harder to see it. I think it can be refreshing to look at the positives of Thomas Wood, and those positives are showcased in this little set right here. Earlier today, I was at a Barnes & Noble and came across the Thomas Wood merchandise line. At first, I laughed it off, considering that the last Thomas Wood model I purchased was... this. So clearly, Mattel had to step up their game! And once I noticed this set, I decided to purchase it because it reminded me of the good old days. The set in question is Ryan Engine and Scruffy Cargo Set. Yes, you heard me right. Mattel made a Scruffy model. Mattel! The set features some characteristics of the Thomas Wood line, such as the considerably smaller frames and simplistic box design. However, the engines are definitely not sore in the eyes, so after they're out of the package, it's a pleasant sight indeed. This model of Ryan features some moderately clean paint and some sparks flying to make it go along better with the dynamite theme they were going along with. The face is well designed and fits the spirit of the character pretty well. There are my gripes with the model, but overall it was a job well done. However, it is pretty disappointing to see that the back lacks a single detail. And what about the main attraction of the set, Scruffy? Did this soulless, greedy, manipulative, lazy company actually hire somebody who knew how to pay respect to the franchise? Well, I'm happy to say, yes! Scruffy is one of those Thomas characters who, despite only appearing once, made an impact with an extremely memorable character of vocal performance and death scene. Anybody else miss when TNF could get morbid? The fact that Mattel even made him a model in the first place is a positive because it reminds me of how much the old TWR cared to make sure that no character was left out, picking up random RWS characters and making a model out of them because there was an audience for them. Scruffy is a relatively obscure character, and seeing him paired up with Ryan is experimental for sure, but it doesn't bother me at all, as I think that if an episode were made between them, it would lead to memorable character exchanges. The actual design is wonderfully detailed with a beautiful gruff expression nailing his classic series aesthetic, chip tooth and everything. The sides include more painted sparks, if a bit cruder than Ryan's. They look more like cattails than fire. The plastic interior and exterior are a bit annoying, but it's all to suit the gimmick of the set, which is the dynamite inside him. The mechanism is easy to set up, and the resulting explosion is so fun and charming that it leads to a lot of play potential. The dynamite sticks are also meticulously built, I mean just look at that. However, with all the positives I would give these two, I do have one complaint, though this extends beyond their models and mostly represents the Thomas Wood merch in general. If this is supposed to be Thomas Wood, with real wood as the main selling point, then why does Mattel litter it with tacky plastic? It takes away from the enjoyment of something so endlessly adorable and appealing being crafted from wood. The original merchandise used plastic sparingly, with the only frequent offender being the face being made of plastic, but the plastic is used as an advantage to make the face seem more authentic. These new models just don't compare to the original. But with all that being said, I don't regret buying these at all, despite them being $20 for just two engines. These models capture the spirit of the original, and the plastic seeping in only reflects on Mattel's poor decisions, and not the intention of making the audience content with recreations of their favorite characters. And with the new wood line coming soon, I think we're stepping in a good direction. Although the current show can jump the shark 2,000 times, it's nice to see the positives still exist and keep our fandom going strong.